Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the video that I, I can showcase to you. It's a tutorial video where you can integrate with your app and also with your Slack. So it means that if you have a Slack channel and also you have your own app or your platform, you can use it uh, for users and so on. So what's the difference between the official Slack API or Parfix? So with Parfix, you, have, you can integrate a lot of things, a lot of API. Uh, not just Slack, but also various other platforms that you can use uh, to include it with just one, one with just uh, connecting with just your single app. Meanwhile, for Slack, you have uh, you know, meanwhile for Slack, there are certain limitations I could say. Um, so one of the the things why why using why use the Parfix is in, is is actually because the user of your platform. Do not need to have a Slack their own Slack account, which means that they don't need to sign up or sign in with your Slack account. They can just sign in directly with your email through your database, and then after that, um, whenever they want to post, uh, let's just say this is a marketplace, which I can showcase to you later. There's a whenever a recruiter would like to to post any kind of openings on your platform. They do not need to sign in or sign up to the to, with their own Slack account, and then after that, once the the openings are up posted, it will be automatically posted on the uh, your Slack channel. So it just goes goes easily uh, on that on that experience. Whereas with uh, official Slack account, I mean official Slack API, you are required to, to have your own um, you know, sign in and also authentication process of the Slack account and after that, it will repeat the same thing as what you as what you intended to do um, so so it doesn't really give the, the what's called um, the thing that you like to, to develop so I suggest to go for Parfix instead. And let's get into the video about the, the tutorial. Uh, showcase to you one by one. And from the um, Slack API, creating your own uh, API for for your, uh, for your Slack workspace, and then also integrating it on your app. All right, let's dive in into that. So okay, so in this first. Uh, first thing to do is that you need to have uh, the Slack API. You need to create it, integrate between, uh, you know, between your your workspace, your Slack workspace. So, um, so if you check on the the bubble block that has the no code Slack, um, so it's quite a detail and also quite easy to integrate. There are a lot of things, list things of to do. So which means that you need to add on all these several features that is listed on this article. And then after that, voila, it's it's quite easy to do it. Uh, just follow the whole full documentation of it. And it can showcase to you about what are the list of things to integrate. So before I forget to remind you, um, so this is kind of like building a bot actually. Um, so whenever uh, you know, so the bot will will post automatically whatever job recruiter would post the openings and so on, and then after that it will distribute to your respective channel on your Slack workspace. So so in the first two to in the first two steps is that you need to create your permissions and so on and also install it to your app. But however, you may also have the optional. Uh, to to manage the decisions, which means that the bot can be made, be made publicly. But otherwise, uh, you can use it for your own uh, part, uh, what's called for your for your own development. You don't need to share it to others. Yeah. So when you create the Slack API on the uh, on the Parfix, you just uh, copy back, uh, copy the redirect URL, copy paste it, and then just put it back to the Slack API. This uh, on this thing. Um, and then also, you need to create the scopes. Uh, on the scopes, uh, you just uh, you can see here if we pause it, these are all the, the things, and also the client ID and also the client secret. So just copy that, just pause the video, then, then you, before you move on to other. 
so for the to get the the re, the second redirect URL is that you just copy paste and then also you copy or copy paste all the client ID client ID, the client secret. Then for the Slack uh OF right. So where do I get the the partner key for this thing? Is I go through the um through the Profix, you can see here there's uh, three different type of keys you can see there's a partner key and then also a private key which can be used later on and then on the API connector um, you can see it right there so I, I created two, two API for project notification and so job notifica notification but for this thing let's just focus on the job notification so you can see the private key expert key and then also public key so expert uh, public private key I just copy this that's why I demonstrated earlier just uh, repeat the same thing all right and after that send create a uh, create a new shared parameter so where do I get this so public key you just uh, go to the test connection all right take a moment for it sorry about that and also don't forget to, to include the body type to be JSON so the public key right um, so you can see here, there's a public key on the left side. Uh, user ID will be your email. After that, key in as a private, and also tick tick as a query string. So so let's just say that you want to reconnect it, right? Uh, this. So this is how I just copy paste it. Okay, and then you can create the body parameters, uh, dynamic data for it. So, so you just change your, your channel uh, and after that tags and then also all this uh, all this uh, what's called uh, dynamic data that you wish to include and obviously you can rationalize the call. So when you rationalize the call, uh, it will display all this. That's, uh, then just click save. It will it will try to to send all the the data that that you wish to include so once you click save um, it will it will send a, a message of of, the, of whatever it is on the uh, on your slack workspace so when you go to the development um, when you wish to include with your API the one that you used it the API connector as you can see here I include the slack project notification uh, for example, just click on the plugins. After that, uh, it will display all this key information. That's uh, that just click slide. There are two one, two options uh, for this one. I just create for the job notification or project notification. Um, so, so yeah, uh, we just uh, just add it directly wherever it is required. So let's just test it one more time. We just nice the call. Click on it. And after that, you just click save. So it will, it will automatically send a, a message, a random message, uh, um, on your on your what's called on your Slack channel, specific Slack channel. But this one is for job description. So let's just say that when you open Slack, uh, it will you can check it later. So when you go to the Slack channel, this is the, the channel that I use. So you can see this is the automated message, uh, which is just in. You know, initialize the call from the API connector you can use it um, with your development site on the testing site uh, through the official one so this is the whole tutorial step you, you should go through um, thank you see you bye bye